Is it just me, or do people not use blinkers in Utah? They're definitely not using their blinkers in Utah. Why's everybody going so much faster than you? Because apparently nobody gives a fuck about the speed limit. Well, you should stop giving a fuck about the speed limit. You're making us look like bitches. Well, the Salt Lake City freeways are kind of confusing. Yeah, for shit's sake. Do you want me to drive? Oh, no, 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 no. Because I can show them how to drive like a reckless asshole. Yeah, I know. It's your default setting here. So do you know where we're going? Yeah, to the hotel to check in. Well, you want to record the intro to the podcast while we're driving? Well, not really. Why don't we wait till we get to the hotel and get checked in? I want to shower and maybe get some food. Okay. Well, you want to listen to my TED Talk again? I really, really do not want to. You know our agent's talking to Coast to Coast about me being on George Nori Coast to Coast, man. About Flat Earth? Hollow Realm Earth, man. I guess, why do you believe that shit? I mean, well, you gotta know that that's just ridiculous. No. God damn it, use wow. your blinker, you fucking... Uh, people are driving like it's California around here, but without the fancy cars. We're surrounded by nice cars. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. You want to listen to my TED Talk again? No, I do not. We're going to seek the ice walls, Dave. Yeah, hooray. You're going to be right there with me, Dave, on George Nuri Coast to Coast and on the fucking ice walls, no, man. I don't really want to. You should read your contract, Dave. I have read my contract. Right. Well, you should read mine, too, and tell me what's in it, because I have no idea. Now, I see that the little red light is on. Re- you're recording me. Oh, yeah. You want to do the intro to the show now? No, I already said that I didn't. I'm fucking tired. I'm driving. We always do the podcast when you're tired and driving. All right. Well, I'm also grouchy, and I also don't want to talk to you right now about anything. Maybe you are talking to me about stuff. Yeah, but I don't want to. Well, then just shut up. All right. Then fine, I will. Good. Now I can listen to my TED Talk. God damn it. It's the It's the Show right now, let's go. What's up, guys? I'm Angus. Yep, and I'm Dave. And you are listening to episode 23 of the Dave, Dave and Angus, Angus Show. And we're back out on the road, and we are exploring the innards of Utah. That's a weird way to put it. And so while I'm here, I'm going to go to every Mormon's door. Yeah. I mean, they've taken the time to come to my door on several occasions. Well, right. The least I can do is go to their door and preach, you know, some hollow realmer. I'm a bit concerned that Angus is going to be a bit confrontational. Well, now that I've had a TED Talk, Dave. Yeah, please stop talking about the thing you did at the Ramada Inn. Well, I'm like one of those experts now, man, so you got to listen to me about shit. You just spouted random Illuminati gibberish to the local weirdos for 10 minutes. It was more like 15 minutes. Now, why don't we talk about Utah since we're here in Utah to talk about Utah? Well, why don't we take this time to talk about what we're going to talk about Utah about? What? Let's tell them what they're fucking going to hear on the podcast. Yeah, well, we've got a lot to see. We're going to several cities. Yeah, we're in Salt Lake City right now. Yeah, we've got four or five pit stops here. Yep, then we're going to go to Ogden where we got a couple pit stops, including a food challenge where I'm going to eat a cheeseburger the size of Dave's head right. in under an hour so I can win a t-shirt. Right, we're also going to go to Provo. Yeah, we're going to check out the BYU camp. And I'm going to proselytize the realm earth. Right, we're going to check out a fun place in Moab. We're going all over this crazy state. We're going to do some Mars desert research shit. Man, that's probably not going to be good. I'm going to volunteer at a dog rescue. Yeah, that'll also probably turn out bad. We're going to check out some of the most Illuminati shit in Utah. Yeah, I wish we weren't. And I found a dude online who's going to sneak us in to Skinwalker Ranch. No, we're not going to sneak in. There's a little campsite nearby. Yeah, Dave's going to camp there like a bitch, and I'm going to go oh. sneak in and check out the skinwalking yeah. shit. I can't wait to see how that turns out. Well, there's no gambling. No. There's barely any drinking. No. I'm pretty sure if you get caught with any kind of drugs in Utah, they shoot you from a cannon into the that sun. Might be a little less harsh than that. Whatever. So lots to do. We're going to check into a restaurant and God. put some food in our face holes. God damn, that, that, wow. guy was, that was the most polite cut off oh, fucking flip you off without flipping you off I've ever fucking seen. We learn how to drive, you fucker. Uh, you Salt Lake City folk have some interesting driving strategies. I, I might be a little grouchy. Yeah, Dave hasn't slept well since my TED Talk. What does your TED Talk have to do with it? I think my obvious success without you is making you feel bad. Oh, fuck no. Go. Fly, shit bird. Fly. Well, Seem run down, Dave. What well, is I it? haven't slept a lot, but it's because I've been up playing video games. That's it? That's all? Yeah, instead of sleep, I decided to play fucking way more video games. Before our trip, where you're going to drive an Angus no, around? I'm not tired. I'm grouchy. You're grouchy because you're tired. I'm grouchy because I'm hanging out with you and I'm not playing video games. But we're doing a podcast, David. Right. Well, I wish our podcast was about video games. Well, sometimes it is about video games. Right. Well, right now it's about watching you eat a fucking cheeseburger the size of my head. Yeah, your head. And then maybe watch you throw it up. Mm, and then definitely listen to you shit it out well, late yeah. at night because we're sharing a goddamn hotel room together. Yeah, be my travel buddies kick ass. All right, David and I are in Ogden, Utah. Right. Just a few, like, I don't know, 35 miles north of Salt Lake City. Yep. And we had to make this first pit stop because we were both hungry. And, you know, might as well get the food challenge out the way. I don't know why you do the food challenges right at the beginning. Because I'm fucking hungry, Dave. Right, well, then you just bitch about it for the rest of the week. And Angus discusses his gastrointestinal problems precisely when he means to, David. Right, well, I wish you wouldn't. Whatever. We're at Scrud's Gourmet Grub here in Ogden. Yeah, it does smell delicious here. They've got some great food. Yeah, once again, David's not participating in the food challenge because he's a bitch. 
bitch. Right. I'd also like to be comfortable for the rest of the trip. Comfortable like a bitch. Right. Well, why don't you explain what kind of challenge you got going well, on? Once again, following in the great Randy Santel, the food-eating athlete's right. challenges, right. his bodacious burger challenge record, I'm not going to touch that. You haven't finished one of these yet. Shut your upper front flap, Dave. Right. Well, Randy Santel, who is right up there with Hulk Hogan with the greatest athletes of all time, right. four-pound stuffed burger champion, 22 minutes, 54 seconds, he was able to devour it, plus the fries. Did you say Hulk Hogan's the greatest athlete of all time? He picked up Andre the Giant over his head. Then he immediately fractured six vertebrae or some shit. Whatever. I gotta eat a four-pound stuffed burger. This burger's stuffed full of cheese, bacon, onions, and garlic, dude. Right. Well, while we're waiting for it, why don't we talk about Utah, babe? Right. Okay, well, according to Tim's terrible research, they're the 31st most populous state. And there's about 3.3 million people that live here in Utah. Right. It's the 13th largest state as far as size and area. Yeah. Utah became the 45th state on January 4th, 1896. And they've been a problem ever since. Oh, there's 29 counties, and we're gonna visit several of them. Yeah, Salt Lake City is a capital, and it's the only state capital with three words in it. Did you know that, no, Dave? I never thought of it, actually. Well, don't you feel stupid? No, not really. Well, did you know that it used to be four words? It used to be Great Salt Lake City, but they dropped the Great in 1868. All right. I didn't know that. For shame, Dave. I'll try and live with myself. Here comes my food. Yes. All right. Let's eat, man. It really is the size of my head. You did your best. That was really yummy. Right, well, Angus did not win his challenge. Oh, did you push record, man? Yeah, I thought I'd get a post-game interview. Mm, yeah. Let's, let's start with a simple question. <laughs> okay. All right, so uh, what do you think you did wrong? Uh, Angus doesn't do things wrong. He explores new ways to not do things right. Right. That's just a stupid way of saying what I just said. Well, then fuck you, Dave. Right, well, we're still a few minutes away from the hotel. You want to talk some Utah facts? Oh, yeah, Steve Young's from here. Jewel, Roseanne Barr, fucking A. No, that's all you got? You know, the guy that invented the TV from here, Farnsworth. Oh, that's right. Dave, yeah. I put too much cheeseburger in my face hole, Dave. Yep, yeah, I saw that. I'm filled to the brim with cheeseburger. No, I wouldn't say it's cheeseburger. I'd say you're full of shit. How dare you, Dave? Yeah, well, now you're literally and figuratively full of shit. I'm the double threat. Yep, yeah, something like that. Yeah, Dave, what? Will you please drive like you're from Utah and exceed the speed limit by 10 to 15 miles per hour so we can get to the goddamn hotel so I can take a big fucking shit? Please, Dave. <laughs> I did not sleep good last yeah, night. They're probably fumigating our room while we're gone. Yeah, I've murdered a lot of bathrooms before, like, you know, every time I eat Arby's. Yeah. But I murdered that bathroom and its whole family last night. Right. That doesn't make any sense. The other bathrooms in the hotel will tell stories about what happened last night. Gross. Yeah. Right. Well, this is supposed to be about Utah. Right. Well, that's where we're at. Yeah, so far we've been bouncing around between Ogden and Salt Lake City. Yeah, and... most of the people in Utah live right here. Right. Well, our next stop is the Gilgal Sculpture Garden. Can we hit a bathroom first? <laughs> Well, that's Illuminati as fuck, Dave. No, it's just a stone fucking sphinx-looking thing. Well, sphinxes are Illuminati, Dave. Well, point to the thing in this sculpture park that isn't Illuminati. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not Illuminati. Right, you think I might be Illuminati? You could be part of a very complicated multi-decade psyop. Right, because you're very important. I appreciate you, Dave. Right. Well, all of these sculptures were made by a Mormon bishop. Well, it says here they were made by a child. No, his name was Child. The child's name was Child? No, the Mormon bishop that made all these was named Child. All like right. Thomas Bathersby Child Jr. Wow, that's really interesting. I wonder if those people have heard about the flat hollow realmer. Don't start with that. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. God damn it. Well, you can't tell me that's not Illuminati as fuck. Why? Because it's a pyramid? Because it's Illuminati as fuck. Because pyramid. Because the scum. Right, well, this is made by, like, a quirky business guy. Who's connected to the scum. I think they started, like, a religion, some kind of weird alien religion. Scum. You're kind of on overload again, aren't you? Well, we're kind of in the belly of the scum. Well, I don't know if this is worse or better, but I feel the listeners might want to know we're at the Summum Pyramid. There's some um kind of Illuminati shit going on. Right, I guess they offer mummification services, too. Who but the scum would want to be mummified, Dave? I don't fucking know. <laughs> We are at Game Grid Arcade. Yeah, we're back in Ogden. And they have all the games here. Yeah, they have over 55 arcade games. They've got things like Super Street Fighter, which we're about to play. Yeah, they got old school asteroids. Yeah, all sorts of pinball crap. But me and this guy are playing Super Street Fighter. Yeah, did you know that Kentucky Fried Chicken was first introduced here in Utah? And not Kentucky? Yeah, I never would have guessed that. Was that more Tim research? Yeah. Yeah, well, don't put that in a book report. Right. Uh, I guess people... All right, yeah, here, here, ready, yeah, ready to fight. Here we go. Ah, oh, shit. Hold on. I guess people in... Ah, yeah. Hadouken. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. 
Hell yeah. They're kicking my ass. I'm not even... It's the power of the Hadouken. Oh, come on, man. Oh, man you're... No mercy, huh? Absolutely not. You just Hadouken my face and ass. Yep. I feel like my controller's broken. Oh, yeah. Son of Victory a bitch. Is mine. Son of a bitch. There, there. Well, while he cheat codes my face and ass, I should tell you that Utah eats more jello, like, by times two than the rest of the United States. I'm okay, I didn't know that. But, f- quit fucking doing that move. If there's only so many moves. Right, well, like I was saying, they like jello here, yeah. and I guess they like the lime flavor, and they put fucking carrots in it, Dave. Hadouken. Did you fucking hear me? There's carrots in the lime fucking jello, Dave. I guess I'd try that. I don't even know you anymore. Hadouken. Quit doing that fucking move. Hadouken. Come on. Hadouken. God damn it. All right, well, did you know Hadouken. the... Damn it. Did you know the frisbee was founded here in the old uh, Utah? The frisbee was founded? Whatever. Discovered? Maybe discovered it's not dinosaur bones. Whatever. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, it off. Is it on? It's rolling, man. Right, so Angus just spent an hour and a half proselytizing the flat earth to a bunch of BYU students. Hollow realm earth, Dave. Yep, you keep saying that, but you barely mention the hollow part, and basically you just have flat earth talking points. Yep, hollow realm earth truthing points. Right, well, a lot of the students gave Angus the business. Yeah, everybody just wants to debate with an Angus, but that's fucking... Yep, well, you, know. you have to be able to defend your point of view. Whatever, skeptics are just haters, man. They just like to hate things. Yep, I don't hate things, but I do think the hollow realm earth is dumb as fuck. Dave, you're talking to one of the world's foremost experts on it. How dare you? What's sad is you probably are one of the world's foremost experts on it, but... I appreciate that, Dave. That's the smoking gun as to why it's dumb as fuck. Just watch the road, Dave. I am watching the road. Oh, fuck. In and out. Let's go there. Mm, I'm not really feeling cheeseburgers at the moment. All right, I'm going to go there. You sit in the car. Oh, but... Oh. All right, folks. It's Skinwalker Ranch time. We are on the way to the Mighton area. I'm going to punch a cryptid in its nuts near the city of Ballard. Kick an alien in its little alien dick. Why are you so gratuitously gratuitous? Well, and Angus, and Angus is a dumb cunt because it's a dumb cunt. I get it. Goddamn, dude. I'm excited to go to Skinwalker Ranch. What's your deal? You're stressing me out. We're not allowed on the property. It's private property. It's protected by guards with guns and shit. Well, this guy I met on the internet in a weird chat room says he can get me on no, the inside. I agreed to camp near Skinwalker Ranch. Like a bitch. No, you're the bitch. You're the one that's trusting some random stranger from the internet. He's not from the internet. He lives in Utah, man. Right, but you don't know anything about the man. Well, he's from Utah. That means he's Mormon and he's probably nice and has like 13 kids. Uh, there's a lot to unpack there. I'll unpack your face, Dave. Not all people from fucking Utah are Mormon. About 60%. And not all Mormons are nice. 96.3%. And you've got 13 kids. So what's your point, Dave? Well, it sounded like you were kind of talking shit there. Well, having a shit ton of chitrons wasn't the best decision I ever made. Right. And I wasn't talking shit. I was giving out compliments and reasons to trust the man. Yeah, what's his name? I don't know his real name, but his internet handle was Slime Dick. Six six six. God damn it. Our right, scooper troopers, we're camping it out. And we're somewhat near the Skinwalker Ranch. Yeah, my internet contact was a no-show unless it turned into a prairie dog. I can't tell you how relieved I am. Where's your spirit of adventure, David? Yeah, I was just concerned you were going to out-Angus yourself at Skinwalker Ranch. That's just speculation. I know my rights. I'd say I have some pretty reasonable expectations at this point. Eat me, Dave. Yeah, yeah. Well, for those of you that don't know much about Skinwalker Ranch, let Angus tell you a story. Yeah, here we go. Once upon a time, there was this family named the Shermans. There was Papa Sherman and Mama Sherman. And little baby Sherman. Yikes. And they descended from a long line of blue blood New World Order Illuminati. And when they came to Skinwalker Ranch, they did Illuminati scum things. And then after doing enough Illuminati shit, probably making adrenochrome or something, oh they sold God. the farm to some scientist motherfuckers. And they built a Stargate. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm serious. There's NASA shit, UFO yep. stuff. I've heard those claims. And now Skinwalker Ranch is owned by the Adamantium. What? The Adamantium. What? The, the goddamn shit inside Wolverine. Yep. Adamantium. Fucking nerd. Okay. Whatever. It's owned by the Adamantium company. Uh, so the company that owns Skinwalker Ranch is named after a comic book fictional metal. Yes. And that means what to you? Well, I think it's pretty obviously Illuminati confirmed at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty skeptical of all the claims made about Skinwalker Ranch. Why? Because there's no evidence. Yeah. There's nothing solid you can base an opinion around. Yeah, correct. Because you don't want to take big leaps of faith. Yeah, precisely. Well, fuck you, Dave. <laughs> Everything in Utah no. seems to be influenced by the scum. No. Look at the flag. The symbol is the beehive. That's the scum. You are insufferable. Fight the scum, Dave. Seek the ice walls. Did you just say bees are Illuminati? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Dave. No, fuck, I'm not. You see, the beehive goes back to the Queen of England. What? And the Knights of Kulum. Uh, you see, the aliens that bred the scum came in a spaceship that looked like a beehive, Dave. No, I'm going to put my headphones in and listen to a podcast. You want to listen to my TED Talk again? 
Right, we are in Hankville. Yeah, kind of southeastern Utah. And we came out this way because we were told by our producers we could do some Mars desert research kind of shit. No, they just said we could come visit the area where they do Mars research in the desert. You mean where they're filming Elon Musk's future fake Mars landing? No, that's definitely not what I meant. Well, we can't even do anything. We're just looking at them. Right. Dudes in spacesuits walking around the desert. Yep, a lot of PhDs probably. We're looking from the street, Dave. Well, the sign says not to interfere with their training. Well, an Angus acknowledges what a sign wants an Angus to do precisely when an Angus wants to Angus and Angus. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit in the car. I'm gonna go fuck with astronauts. No, do not. Do you want me to pull over and get you some ice? No, that astronaut punched like a bitch. Looked like he cold cocked your ass from where I was standing. Well, I've been way colder cocked than there. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, yeah. All right, we're headed to the city of Moab. Yeah, we're going to a hole in a rock. Well, it's called Hole in the Rock. Some dude built a 5,000 square foot house inside a giant boulder. Yeah, and they've kind of turned it into a park and amenities area. Well, I hope they got a Flintstone toilet I can sit on because I got to take a shit. <laughs> So now a metal bowl made out of railroad spikes and wrenches and shit is a goddamn Illuminati symbol. Well, Utah seems to be pretty steeped in this gum. Because this is left over from railroad stuff. I don't care about Utah having the first transcontinental rail. I care about why somebody would forge this Illuminati shit out of the refuse. Because this is a fucking bowl. Why is a bowl Illuminati? I'm glad you asked that, Dave. Oh, my God. We see, a bowl symbolizes the Taurus constellation. Okay. And it's often used to symbolize the virility of the Illuminati god's cocks. All right, so birds and bees are Illuminati. We're in a whole park filled with metal things. Is that? That big tin man a fucking Illuminati? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Dave. God damn it. Well, this looks like every Western movie I ever watched as a child. Um, that's why they call this Little Hollywood. All right, so we're in a place called Canab, Utah. That's yeah, right near the Arizona border. And this is literally what I picture the Wild West to be. Yeah, again, that's thanks to Hollywood. But seriously, though, this is it. Yeah, Gunsmoke was filmed here, Lone Ranger, Stagecoach. I'm feeling yeah, that. Even Arabian Nights and the original Planet of the Apes. Nice. Hey, Dave. Uh, let me guess. You're going to Planet of the Apes my face. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not funny, Dave. <laughs> oh, it is. I disagree. Now, so Angus and I volunteered to work at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah. Just wanted to help the puppies and the kittens, yeah, man. It's a fantastic organization, bestfriends.org. Yeah, they pioneered the no-kill sanctuary. Yeah, we learned that 9,000 dogs and cats are put to sleep every day. Yeah, sleep good at night with that information. Right, well, Angus got kicked out because... Because they deny the ice walls. Yeah, yeah don't you feel stupid, like, proclaiming the ice walls exist? Do I feel stupid clearing the shitty ass wool out the shitty ass shit? People's ass? No, I didn't ask that. I asked if you feel stupid saying a bunch of dumb shit to people and then having the reaction that you get. All reaction you get your face, Dave. Right. Well, we were supposed to volunteer for six hours and we were there for 15 minutes and. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now we're going to go look at dinosaurs. I can only imagine how this is going to go. I fucking love dinosaurs, Dave. What's your favorite dinosaur, Dave? Yeah, I don't know why, but that question just gave me a spritz of joy. Fuck yeah, dinosaurs are kick ass. Right. My favorite dinosaur. You know, some jerk ass told me that dinosaurs eventually turned into chickens. Now, that is basically what happened. Were you the jerk ass? that told me that? I don't know, but it's true. So does that mean the dinosaurs probably taste like chicken? I'd say the chicken probably tastes like dinosaurs. That's weird. Yeah, and by the way, what? Zach called me specifically and said, make sure that Angus is on his best behavior at the dinosaur park. Oh, yeah, no worries. Yeah, I mean, the Dinosaur Discovery Center, it's very important. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. It's one of the greatest finds in North America. Fucking A, I'll be careful. Like, super extra careful. I will be, totally. Yeah, I bet. That wasn't good. Yeah, I kind of wish that didn't happen. You know, those fossils are worth like millions of dollars. Yeah, I hear they can do really cool shit with glue these days. I just can't believe that was your attempt at being extra careful. It's not my fault the drawing of the dodectodon startled me, Dave. That seemed like it happened in slow motion. Except for it was so fucking loud. Yeah, it was. But you know what, Dave? What? I kicked that dinosaur's ass. Now, you know Scatcast is going to get the bill for that. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Patreon.com forward slash Scatcast. That'll help us out. Thanks, guys. Angus, we're going to need like 60,000 patrons. Don't we already have that many? No, no, we do not. No. That's too bad. Well. Hey, Dave. What? I just kicked a dinosaur skeleton's ass. Yeah, you tripped and fell into a dinosaur skeleton. Yeah. Hey, Dave. What? You want to listen to my TED Talk again? Nope. Utah's a beautiful state. Yeah, if you're into the great outdoors. Shit, there might not be a better place. Yeah, skiing, hiking, camping, fishing. Soaking, loopholing. What? Some lingo I picked up from the locals. Don't worry about hey, it. we've been all over the state. And it's pretty obvious that the entire state of Utah is Illuminati as fuck. Yeah, you said that pretty much everywhere we've been. Dave, no. we've seen sphinxes. We've seen pyramids. We've seen bulls. We've seen beehives. So? We've seen giant churches that have no windows, Dave. Yeah, those are Mormon temples. There's no windows, Dave. Right, well, it's an architectural thing. Never trust a church or a space 
spaceship without windows, Dave. Spaceship? What the fuck are you talking about? It's a Gunner Halifax Acer Ag, Dave. Um, okay. Anyway, so what did you think of Utah, Dave? Um, I had a blast. I doubt they're going to get to hear all the things that we did, but it was a lot of fun. It was fun. I mean, minus all the dumb shit you said. Whatever. Utah's awesome, even if you don't want to go outside. We played video games in an awesome arcade. Yeah, we checked out the little Hollywood Museum and where all the films and all the cowboy movies were made. We infiltrated Skinwalker Ranch and we made all them cryptids our little bitch tits. But no, we didn't. We didn't even get close to it. I know. I just wanted to do that bitch tid line. Right. Well, thank you for having us, Utah. I'm sorry about all the things. Yeah, you guys got to do something about this Illuminati stuff you got going on here. Um, I don't know how much you guys get to hear about the people that we met, but we met a lot of wonderful people. Oh, my heck, the people in Utah are kind. Golly. That's kind of a mocking tone for, you know, trying to say thank you. Yeah, I think it's pretty well established I'm a cunt, Dave. Right. Well, I can't dispute that. Right, well, skatcast.com is where you find all the shears. Yep, you can check out the brand new official Dave and Angus t-shirt. Or you can help my journey to Seek the Ice Walls with the Seek the Ice Walls t-shirt. Yeah, please don't fund that bullshit. I do not want to go on a boat trip with this guy. To the Ice Walls, Dave. Yeah, fuck your Ice Walls. I've been Dave. Seek the Ice Walls, and I've been Angus. And this has been the, the Dave, Dave and Angus, Angus Show. It's Dave and Angus. Yeah. It's Dave and Angus. I'm Angus. It's Dave and Angus. Well, we've got some things to say about some shit. We'll sing some songs, do interviews, and pee against the wind. It's day. I'm down. 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 i am Seek the ice walls. Seek the ice walls. Don't be an asshole. Seek the ice walls. Dave, seek the ice walls. Please leave me alone. I must seek the ice walls. I don't want to. To fight the scum. Scum. What do you think, man? I think I hope the scum wins. Bing, Bing bong. bong.